as you all know, we found a, a body today, and it, it is the body of a male in, in his 20s. We have now an uh, investigation where we believe uh, there's some type of suspicious death. I, I can't tell you the extent of that suspiciousness, but we have a male in his 20s, and we don't know why uh, he, he died. So we've made a preliminary examination of the body with the coroner and now they've taken the body to the coroner's office where it's uh, scheduled for an autopsy in the morning. I would assume um, late morning we will be able to positively identify this body and try to determine exactly who it is. And obviously at that point we're gonna continue to try to figure out the circumstances surrounding this death. Our Special Victims Bureau, they've been conducting, uh, as they always do, conducting an investigation uh, into missing persons. And so one of the elements to their investigations that they're conducting is they wanted the uh, dive team, the Columbus Police dive team, to check the bodies of water. Uh, and this was one of the bodies of water that they wanted to check. Uh, my understanding is the uh, dive team came out early this morning and um, probably got going late morning, so they started a uh, systematic search of this body, of this particular body of water, and somewhere around um, one or so, I believe, is when they found this particular body. It didn't seem like the body was too decomposed. It was in relatively good, pretty good uh, condition. So no noticeable no wounds on the body. Gunshot, knife. Um, I shouldn't comment on that at this point, but um, again, we believe it's a suspicious death, so I'm not really sure. You couldn't make a positive ID, so obviously no wallet, no ID, nothing like that on him. Um, I'm not saying that, but I know we definitely cannot make a positive identification at this point. 